I've always hated going to the dentist. On my first visit at the age of five, I bit him on his fingers. In those days, the dentist would give you a jelly bean on your way out. I can assure you, I got no jelly bean that day. But our painting today is called The Dentist. And it was painted in 1622. Now in those days, your dentist was usually the barber. You can imagine going down to get the latest hairstyle and out come the pliers. The artist was Gerard van Honthorst. We can see the light shining brightly into the mouth as the dentist carefully extracts one of his teeth. What I find interesting is the number of paintings on this subject. Here's a man holding onto his rosary beads to help him through the trauma. Here's another. This painting was also by Honthorst and it's in the Louvre. <laughs> then we have this Caravaggio. The woman on the side looks like she's already lost all her teeth. But I want you to notice something about all of them. Firstly, the dentist seems to enjoy pulling out those teeth. He has this smile or even a smirk on his face. Secondly, huh, this is quite a social event. Forget going down to the movies, we've got something much more entertaining, a tooth extraction. But there's one thing for sure, the man getting his tooth out, he's in big pain. There's no anaesthetic in those days. And someone had to hold him into his chair so he doesn't jump out. So what's the point of this painting? Sometimes we need to go through short-term pain to be relieved of that pain. The Bible says, yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. In other words, bad short-term for good long-term. I don't know what sort of pain you may be going through right now. But I've found in life, God brings good out of bad. And the pain we suffer now is nothing compared with the glory we'll experience when we get to heaven.